So Quilly was on Instagram live, posted up a two minute uh, clip of the alleged stolen bars. And uh, in the caption he wrote, Sue Surf, S-U-E, S-U-E, Sue Surf claims he only listens to R&B. We gonna be in Jersey this Saturday. <laughs> and then of course Surf says, "What you mean you gonna be in Jersey Saturday? What is what you trying to say, huh? Six O? What you trying to say? Oh God! So who knows what's gonna come of that? Uh, obviously Quilly is, um, you know, he's he's uh, he's doing his best trolling. He's uh, he's ta he's taking it and riding with it." All right, and he's 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 capitalizing on this on this situation, which is what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do, and um, I think it's hilarious. Now we just exposed the other day that Sue Surf literally admitted that drugs helps drugs and Tay Rock help. He said drugs and Tay Rock helped him write that Quilly scheme. So he don't understand how y'all trying to say he stole it. Because me and Drugs and Tay Rock wrote that stuff together. He said this on Spaces. Go check out my video uh, a couple videos ago. It's there. You can hear the audio. It's on a space. He said we wrote it together. We wrote it together. He wrote the first half with Drugs, the second half with Tay Rock. Now, oh, is that a, is that a, mm, that is a, fire. now, ah! now we have to believe that, um, Drugs and and Tay Rock didn't hear that freestyle either. That it was just it's literally all Quinn. None of these guys heard it. Even though there's also audio of Surf talking about him listening to Quilly, actually listening to that freestyle and all this other stuff. Um, so it's just looking bad out here, man. Sue Surf, like your all your credibility. Okay, could you imagine if it came out that Loaded Lux was getting help from drugs? I don't mean drugs. I mean the rapper drugs. Could you imagine if that came out? It would be an outrage, right? Does that show... And, and, and the fact that nobody cares about this, does that show the respect that us as a community has for Sue Surf's pen? That might be what it shows. Because it doesn't seem like anybody cares. They're like, oh yeah, we already knew that. And oh yeah, Ghost Right and Adi Boom and, and John John. And they weren't going to write together. And it's like nobody really, it's not like a big shock to the community that drugs is helping Sue Surf. Because I don't think the community actually respects Sue Surf's pen. I think we're treating Sue Surf like a Drake. Like, all right, he's a good entertainer. But he might not be writing all his bars. He might be getting help. He might have a, a, a team. He might have this, that, and the other, you know. Is Drake like a phenomenal entertainer? Of course, but do we respect Drake's pen? Um, you know, I thought when Drake was doing the mixtape era and when he his first couple of albums, I thought if he was writing that stuff, I thought he had a pretty good pen. He had a pretty. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. Then we went into this whole R and B era and all that stuff, and he turned into a pop star. And then all the allegations came out. All right, the Meek Mill stuff and all that stuff, the Rico. So, uh, and then the other dude, and then we know what Drake does. And so I'm not saying Sue Surf doesn't write any of his bars, but does he have a team which he's just, he's basically said he does. This, I don't even, it's like not even like a debate anymore. He said it himself. We wrote this together. His words, we wrote these, we put these bars together. Me and Drugs put them together. The 15 bar setup that y'all are complaining about, the Quilly stuff, me and Drugs put that first half together. Me and Tay Rock put the second half together. Now, to me, that's a no no in battle rap. I don't think any battle rapper should be writing with the team. I don't think they should be getting help with anybody. Can you stop it? Technically, no. But it, I mean, at, at the least, it needs to be hush hush. And then if it's exposed, then I think we should, we should drag them through the mud. But. It doesn't really seem like that's the case because, well, I mean, Sue Surf is getting a lot of slack for it, but there's, I mean, his fan base is so solid that they'll ride for him no matter what. The Surfettes are amazing, man. Like they're 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 a one fan base. I give it to them, man. They they really like 
like they just shut it all down and they, they la 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 surf makes it tough for them i'm not gonna it's not easy being a surf vet. it's it's one of the toughest gigs in in battle rap to be a surf vet. it's a tough gig out here so because who surf does not make it easy for you he really like messes up the game in so many aspects where it's like how do we continue to do it and have any integrity but you know they they do they do they do um so yeah I, because once we start allowing publicly group writing opponents writing with each other to make classics once that becomes a public thing battle rap as a whole is gonna i i really feel like because battle rap is such a niche genre and it's i think it's kept alive i, I think the attempts to make main battle rap mainstream have failed they failed it fails every time for whatever reason it, it's not a mainstreamable type of deal. Can it be in the future? I don't know. I mean, I feel like we've taken shots at it. All right. But battle rap is being kept alive by its core fan base, the fan base that's been around mainly from the beginning. All right. And then you sprinkle in all these are the new people who come in and they have their little take on it and stuff like that. But it's it's basically being kept alive. All right. By by the fanatics. Right. But I believe if the fanat if it, it starts becoming public knowledge that these battle raps are, are basically like a play instead of like a competition, then um, we're really, I think that it, um, we're in trouble. We're in trouble because we're gonna lose that, the reason why we love it factor. And I don't know, I'm not really interested in watching a play when I watch battle rap. I'm more interested in the competition, better MC, or I got an issue with you, you got an issue with me, let's settle it, all right? I'm not here to watch a play and you guys just manufacture something and or you're being helped by this like so I, I can't trust what you're saying is you anymore there's always been that speculation remember when nwx was formed and you know, are they writing together probably all right k-shine had that crazy run you know could that have been a manufactured run because of all the help he was getting by a, a dna a t-top or whoever you know was it all was it manufactured now 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 we see that the the the, the end of NWX and K-Shine's had a few tough battles recently where he hasn't been the same. Ever since NWX was over, it hasn't been the same. Maybe it, it started that, uh, remember NWX ended in, uh, on one of K-Shine's, K-Shine had a bad performance uh, and then NWX ended and then uh, I believe he had another one. Um, but I'm, I'm not even saying that's what happened with K-Shine. I'm just saying, you know, once it becomes because the k-shine stuff is just still that speculation we don't know that for sure but when surf surf comes out and says yes i'm writing with drugs yes i am writing with tay rock we are a group writer all right for my battle with cortez i i i not, not, they're not just helping him with the bars i mean they're not just um uh he's just not sparring with them there he literally said and i quote we put this together together we, me and drugs put this together. Not drugs listened to my bars and, was, and gave me critique of it. No, no, no. We put it together. Remember when I called, remember when we put together that, that Dykeman, Lykeman scheme, Rock? That's what he said. And Rock said, yup. I mean, it, it's plain as day. You can't make it up. All right. You, you, the only way you can say you can deny it is say that it was a, a fake audio. And just like Dead Doc and Nation, the only way you guys can tell me that Dead Doc and Nation is in, in, in full meltdown mode and is not in trouble is if the website's fake. We're going to talk about that tonight. June 9th is the next uh, trial date set. It says final, final plea, op plea deal option. This is his last chance to take a plea or trial is set for June 27th to July 5th. So to Dead Docket Nation, happy 4th of July. All right. We're going to see how it plays. All motions has been denied. The motions to throw out uh, charges 4, 5, and 6, denied. June 9th is the next day. Now, could another thing pop up? It did say final. Final plea uh, uh, option. So I don't know. It didn't say that before, but it says final plea option for this one. So this might be the last time he has a chance to take a plea. I believe he's going to take a plea. If he doesn't, he's uh, 
basically committing and it's like to, to go to, to take this to trial is insane so we'll see what happens all right i'm just reporting facts all right i, I don't have any dog in this race if he's innocent i want to know why he lied so much but it is what it is but uh if he's not i hope he does go to jail but you know i'm more i'm, I'm not even i'm more interested in how this case plays out because it's been so crazy and to watch the community have just be so weird about it all right especially in lieu of johnny depp and how that's supposed to be interesting but we don't have to be that we can be interested in but we can't be interested in, in one case that's fine to be interested in and the whole nation can be obsessed with it but in another case we're supposed to say hush hush don't talk about it otherwise you hate him let me know what y'all think love you guys we'll be live tonight don't miss this. these lives have been epic lately so much fun hit the like button no j2 love you guys peace